everybody. It's Michelle and I am doing more bullet jewelry today. I got lots of comments and suggestions from the viewers when I did my bullet bead charm here that I made from a 380 bullet casing. I really love this but I've gotten so many suggestions from viewers and I just love them. After my bullet charm I did the earrings here that was a suggestion from Bonnie with the 22 bullet casings and those are just so adorable I love those and I had another suggestion from Janet and she suggested making them into lipstick charms and oh my gosh it is adorable I had to try it out and look you guys that is so cute I love this. Thank you, Janet, so much. I really love this idea. And I want to show you all how I did that. So I thought, with the 22 bullet casing, we needed to get that black halfway up so that it looked like an opened lipstick. And I went ahead and drilled my hole. And I did that with my Dremel tool again. And then we're ready to paint that lower half black. So, what I did was I taped it off, first of all. Well, first, actually, I cleaned it with rubbing alcohol so that our paint will adhere a little better. And just clip off a little piece of washi tape. And I'm using the washi tape because when I just used plain, clear scotch tape, I couldn't see it. So I didn't know if I was getting it lined up the way that I should. So I'm going to take my washi tape. And I'm going to tape it off to where I've got about half or maybe just a little fuzz more than half exposed. And wrap the top portion with the washi tape so that we don't get paint on that. And even though the washi tape bend a little tab over there so I'll have something to get a hold of. But anyway, even though the washi tape was something I could see a little more easily to make sure I line it up, it doesn't stick to itself very well. So I came back over top of that with some scotch tape just to hold that in place for me. I'm going to fold over a little tab on that too so I can get a hold of it. And then I just used some black fingernail polish And if you get a better nail polish, this is just the Sinful Colors brand from Walmart. It's about $2, but it's the black that I had on hand already. If you want to get a higher-end one that is a nail lacquer instead, it'll hold a lot better and stay on there for you. If not, you can just go ahead and coat over it after it's dry with some Mod Podge, and that should hold it in place. So I just took my fingernail polish and I painted over that brushing downward and that helps to ensure that it doesn't get up underneath my tape and it also kind of tapers out that bottom rim and makes it look like a little bit more like a lipstick I think so I just painted over that and then let that dry for a few minutes until it's dry to the touch. And once it was dry to the touch, I let that dry for 24 hours and then took my tape off of there. So I'm just going to set that one aside. And I've got one here that's been drying for 24 hours and we're going to use that one today. So I've got one here 
that is a red lipstick. And today we're going to do a hot pink. So you're going to need your painted and dried 22 bullet casing with your hole drilled in it. And then you're going to need a 6 by 8 millimeter teardrop bead in whatever color you want your lipstick to be. And actually, again, these are some that were kind of in between sizes. And they were more like about a five and a half millimeter by about seven and a half millimeters. And that fits a little better if you can find that sort of in between size. And then I've got a head pin and a lobster clasp. And I've got a really long head pin here. As you all probably know by now, I just stock the longer ones. That way I've got more versatility to do different size projects, whatever I want to do. And I just use the excess to make a jump ring, and I will be doing that today. So you'll need a jump ring if you're not going to make your own. And it goes together so simply, like all the bead charms do. And oh my gosh, I love this one. So this time, we're building it in the other direction. With the bullet charm, we have that pointing down. And we want our lipstick standing upright. So we put our bullet casing on first with the open side up and then our teardrop bead pointed end up. And isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I love these. And then we just bend that head pin over at about a 90 degree angle and cut it down to about a quarter of an inch. And then take our round nose pliers and roll that into a loop. And then we're going to make a jump ring or however many we can get out of what's in our excess here. We got three, but for this project we're only going to need one. So we just open up that jump ring and dangle on our lipstick and then our lobster clasp or you could make a matching pair and have the earrings out of these two. Wouldn't that be so cute? You can make them with larger bullet casings if you want to. I just had been working with the 22's when I made the earrings on Bonnie's suggestion and I thought they were so tiny and adorable. I wanted to do the lipstick that way too. So that's all there is to it. Just a little bit of dry time on painting that bottom and then just add one simple bead and you've got a lipstick. That is so adorable. So thanks again to Janet. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it. Thank you, Janet. And you all let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And also follow my blog at craftykaleidoscope.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.